Today's the day. Today is the day that we drive on to our new property. Um, it's about 5.30. I'm up early to, well, I couldn't sleep, really. I mean, I slept a little, I guess. Very excited, uh, very nervous. It's a strange feeling because this is the day we've been looking forward to for a year now. And uh, looking back at our first video, I mean, that was, that was a lifetime ago. Although I didn't look exactly, I think it's almost exactly 12 months ago that we made it. And that video was talking about the decision to leave our comfortable suburban life and try something completely different and exciting. And it is going to be very different and exciting. I, in many ways, I feel like we're at the top of a roller coaster, you know, when you're already on the roller coaster and you're kind of cranking up the hill and you're coming up over the top and you're really excited about the ride, but really afraid of that first hill. And the decisions are all behind us. We, you know, it's done. You, you got in line, you waited, you waited, you waited, you watched other people do it. And you finally sat down in the chair and strapped in and all your decisions are behind you. Everything that you've set in motion is unstoppable at this point and you are going to go over the hill. It's going to be exciting. I mean, usually, you know, you go over that first hill and that's the worst part and you're scared and you're screaming and then it's just a blast and I'm hoping that's what our life is going to be like. But in about an hour, I'm going to unplug from electrical power and unplug from nice clean infinite water and uh, do it ourselves we're pretty well stocked with the things that we need to get on the property um, but there's a lot we still need to learn the plan today is to drive to St. Mary's and uh, drop the trailers in a parking lot and then take uh, probably two vehicles up the hill to just take a look at the property to see how it looks. Um, if it looks good, approachable, the roads are good and there's no washout from the spring runoff, um, we're gonna go back, get the trailers and we're gonna spend a night on the property tonight. So that's it, let's see what happens. This is it. This is it. Today's the day. Today we are driving onto the property. How do you feel? Excited, nervous, surreal. I mean, the whole world is surreal right now, but um, but it's weird. Like, we keep saying we're going home, which is kind of cool, but also weird because it's not any home we've ever known before. <laughs> so. Yeah. You ready? I am ready. I'm getting coffee going. We have overnight oats we can eat in the car. And uh, we're getting ready to go. A little early. It is rather early for us. We're kind of not early people. A little but bit. We're going to have to get that way, I suppose. <laughs> hey guys, guess what? Welcome to Idaho. Idaho, my home. We have made it to St. Mary's, Idaho. We're going to stop for a little lunch. We're going to drop those two trailers here in the parking lot and uh, take some vehicles up to the property to see how it looks. Everything looks fine. We'll be there tonight. We found a place that we can fill our water up and we're really, really hoping to have a running stream when we get there. Very excited to be here. Tromping around, walked down by the creek to see how much water was in it. Um, not a lot, but it is flowing a little bit. It's like a tiny little creek. Um, we we're hoping for more, of course, but we have a cold, a cold little one here, so 
she forgot to bring her sweatshirt. So we're going back to the car to get it. <laughs> Everyone else, so we kind of traced the flow of the water. It originates on the neighbor's property, so um, I don't know how much we can do to really develop it, if it's a spring or just a creek. But anyway, uh, obviously, it'll take time to research. Right now, we're just checking it out and trying to figure out where our trailers are going to go when we pull them on later today. We left the trailers down in town and just decided we had to come up here and see if we could even get, you know, through on the road and make sure we could, um, you know, get the trailers up the hill and stuff. We just don't know where we're going to put them because of the mobile home that's there. Um, it's nasty and trashed inside, so it's really bad. I don't, I want to just drag it off and have it destroyed. Um, the quote we got though is $6,000 and that's a lot to drag it off. So we'll see. Brendan wants to store his tools in it, but it's pretty bad. Okay, so the hill is not too steep, but at the very top, the gravel ends and there's a little mud. So Brennan's going to try the four-wheel drive vehicle first. We really, really want the trailers up on the flat spot next to the mobile home. But he's kind of afraid we're going to spin out and have to come back down the hill. We can park here on one of these flat spots. But it's not ideal. It's not totally flat. Up there is totally flat. And there's the sewer dump. So let's see. We got the camper situated up there, looks like. Now, we're walking back, bringing the truck back. Let's see if he decides to try it with the van or if he wants to just drive the truck up with the other camper. One down. Or one up, I guess. <laughs> Did it slip around up there? No. No? Nope. Did you just, use four wheel drive? Yep, just four wheel low and just, just pushed it. So, are you going to unhook and do it with this one then? Yep. Awesome. Yep, same plan. Okay, what are you going to do with the van? I don't know. Okay. Push in the ditch. We made it, guys. We're here. We're here! We're here. Yeah. I think Ashley's aside. Alright, time for bed. Let's 
right. I got chickens coming. Chickens. Mm -hmm. They'll be yummy. What are you going to name those chickens before you eat them? Chicken nugget. Barbecue. Chick-fil-A. 